ladies, I'm Michelle and I'm going to be taking you through your pregnancy workout. This is a super gentle mobility and core activating of muscles. So all you need is a mat, uh, a Pilates ball if you have one, otherwise you'll just need a pillow, a small pillow. Um, and you might at some point need a pillow for your head. So um, please go and grab a few bits and then come and join me on the mat. So first of all, we're just going to breathe. I want you to take an inhale through the nose and I want my breath to fill the entire rib cage, the sides, the back, the front. And I'd like the breath to come down and meet your pelvic floor. Exhale. And then inhale again, fill up and exhale. Good. Okay, we're gonna come onto our hands and knees. And we're going to do this exact same breathing, but you're going to incorporate your Kegels, your pelvic floor um, workout, okay? So you're going to, as you exhale, lift from the basement to the ground and then lift to the first floor. So it's like a squeeze and a lift. And you should notice that the lower part of the abs lifting slightly as you get more and more pregnant. Um, this is quite actually fascinating because the belly shrinks and lift slightly and you look a lot smaller. So over time, keep practicing this and it's a little bit of a party trick to be honest. <laughs> so let's come on our hands and knees and have your ball or your pillow nearby. So find that tabletop position, relax your toes and then just come from this position to a round position and then find the center. So you're in the neutral pelvis. Inhale through the nose, fill the body. Exhale, draw up and lift. Good. Now we're going to do this with a ball squeeze. Take the pillow or the ball and place it on the right hand. As you exhale and lift, I want you to just push into that ball. Okay? So find neutral pelvis, inhale through the nose. Exhale, push and lift. Hold it. Ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, release. I'm going to do that again. Inhale, feel the air through the body, releasing pelvic floor. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, release. Good. I'm going to change to the opposite side now and do two rounds on the left. So find neutral pelvis. Inhale, fill the body of air. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and relax. So release that pelvic floor. A little wiggle to help you release it if you need to. Okay, ready and inhale. Exhale, push and lift. So you are nice and solid. You are not moving around. Your arm might be shaking as you push into that ball. Five, four, three, two and one good okay come back now we're going to do some uh, mid back rotation so place the ball to one side and you're going to come down and lay on the mat you can um, have a pillow under your head for this one i will show you how so have that there and you're going to come down onto the side and pull your knees into this 90 degree bend Get comfortable, place the hand here, and then as you exhale, you're gonna twist back. It's the mid back, so try to keep the upper trap squishy, and you're using that mid back to get some mobility. Postural changes through pregnancy can change everything. Some muscles will switch off, and lengthen and some muscles are compensating. So we need to try and keep alignment and mobility going for as long as possible. Inhale and try and get a little bit further on your exhale. Good. 
and come back, good. If you would prefer, you can put another pillow here between the knees. So inhale, exhale, twist. Very good, and bring that back here. So we're gonna do the same on the other side. You just turn over, I'll move mine because otherwise I'll be having my back to you, which is a tad rude. <laughs> So come down, find that comfortable position. I could stay here all day. And hand here, inhale, exhale, rotate from the mid back. Couple of breaths and on the exhale, try and see if you can twist back a tiny bit more. And then bring it back. Inhale, exhale, twist. And bring back, very nice. Okay, we're now gonna come up. So come up gently. You don't need your pillow for this unless you wanna place um, it under your knee that's kneeling. It's entirely up to you. So you're gonna come into a lunged position now and you're going to come into a forward lunge, stretching through that leg. And then you're gonna come up so that they're in a 90 degree bend. I want you to try and draw this heel back. Just draw it back, but don't move it and you'll get some uh, hamstring activation. Try not to tilt forward, try not to tuck under, find neutral. As you exhale, you draw that foot back, and I want you to squeeze the ball as well. Engaging pelvic floor. Ready, inhale, exhale, squeeze and draw back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Completely release. Let's push it forward and then come back. We're gonna do one more. Inhale, exhale, draw back, squeeze. Pull that pelvic floor up. Can you feel it going from the ground, sorry, basement ground and first floor, holding, neutral pelvis, nice tall spine, and release. Changing to the opposite side. So left foot forward, lunge forward, get it a nice stretch under here, and then come back to 90 degree bends. Get ready for the squeeze and pull back. Inhale through the nose, fill the body. Exhale, draw back, squeeze. And you feel that hamstring firing, pelvic floor firing. And release. Good. Lunge forward. And then come back. 90 degree. Inhale. Exhale. Draw back. Squeeze. Lovely. Okay. Pop that ball down. We're now going to do some lying angel wings. So come down slowly onto your side and lay back. You can, sorry, I'm just reaching, you don't do this, <laughs> place your pillow under here if you prefer, just to give you a bit of more comfortableness. Okay, so you're gonna push your back into the mat by tilting that pelvis up slightly. Arms are here by the sides. Try to keep them on the floor. Now, raise them up while keeping everything onto the mat. If you can't do both arms, take one, one arm away and try one. If you still can't do that, rock to one side slightly and do it there. It's a really nice chest opener, chest stretch. As you go through your pregnancy and also when baby comes, more importantly, you'll be hunched over quite a lot because you'll be breastfeeding or bottle feeding, whatever you prefer to do. And you end up sitting hunched and you're sitting a lot because that little baby requires a lot of attention, especially in the first early 
days um, so it's good to get a stretch so once you've been feeding maybe come to the floor and do this it will be wonderful for you and the other side so remember if you can't do that you're rolling you're stretching to one side good okay and now we're going to take that pillow away so we can roll to one side and come up and I just want you to reach up tall here and then gently pull those arms to one side and then the other side and then you're going to get your pillow and you're actually going to sit on it between your legs we do this so that we can get a little bit of relaxation through the pelvic floor. Now I want everything to relax, everything to relax. I want you to do the breathing that we've been doing, the 360 breathing, but as you exhale, I'd like it to be a really audible exhale. And I'd like you to make the sound, ha. As you ha, try to draw the ribs down. Okay, so watch me do it first. So inhale, ha. Embarrassing, yes I know, but just do it for me. <laughs> Humour me. Um, you want to be drawing the ribs down and everything's drawing up, okay? So inhale, release everything, join me. <sighs> Again, inhale. <sighs> One more. <sighs> Good, okay. It may seem silly, but it's really good for rib mobility. During the end, you're going to find that you're in that state of inhalation a lot. And we've got to bring that down afterwards. So once you get used to doing this, you will take that through to your postpartum recovery. So now we've got overhead breathing. So pop that pillow under your legs if you prefer, or you don't uh, just pop it to one side. Roll to one side or come back gently. And all you're going to do is just place your arms above your head. Try to put your back into the floor and just breathe. Inhale through the nose, fill up. Again, last one. Lovely. Bring those arms down. If you've got your pillow there, pop it under your sacrum, under your bottom. It might be a towel that you prefer to use. It depends on how much you want to get that hip flexor stretching. Now my right leg is extended so that I'm really stretching here. And my left leg, I'm going to pull it into my chest. I'm going to push my heel away as far as my heel will go and just hold. Keep breathing through the nose, in, inhaling all that breath, exhaling through the mouth. And then when you're ready, drop that left leg, bring the right leg in, extend the left from the heel and feel that hip fixer stretch. Lovely. In 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. If you push your heels into the mats, you can lift your bottom slightly, slide your pillow, roll, and come up. Ah, oh, wonderful ladies. Well, I hope you enjoyed that mobility and core, um, and I look forward to seeing you on another one really soon. So take care, goodbye.